Hello, I'm Justin Porter and um, I want to explain the Sonia Ericsson video that I posted. The Sonia the, the Sonia Eric video I posted is a bit confusing is a bit confusing because what was that video all about if you're not a Jehovah's Witness and you don't know what shunning is Jehovah's Witnesses have removed a video about shunning because in Norway they've been denied funding from the government because all religions in Norway get funding from the government and they're being denied funding because of their shunning practice. Uh, Norway is not going to give Jehovah's Witnesses how many million kroner. They give all the religions in Norway, they give them so many million kroner uh, if they're a charity. And, but Norway government checks out the religions to see if they're a good religion, but they've found that Jehovah's Witnesses are a harmful religion because they practice shunning, and shunning leads to suicide. And, uh, yeah, shunning does lead to suicide. And Jehovah's Witnesses have a, a video where a young 20-year-old girl um, falls in love with a boy at work, has sex with him, like, and uh, she's not sorry about it because she's in love with this young guy and uh, the elders talk to her and she's not repentant so she gets shunned and her she's at the hall and they say they make an announcement Sonia Erickson has been removed as one of Jehovah's Witnesses now let's close in song and prayer we're Jehovah's Witnesses, we speak out in fearlessness. Ours is a God of false prophecy, what he foretells never comes to be. And so that's what they'll do. They'll, they'll make an announcement like that. Sonia Erickson is no longer one of Jehovah's Witnesses. She has been removed as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Now let us... and and. Whenever that happened, when I was a Jehovah's Witness, you'd get <gasps> like sighs of people crying because I can't talk to that person. I'm no longer to allowed to talk to that person. I've got to treat that person like they're dead now. I've got to treat that person like they're dead. And uh, you want to be in the limelight, Tommy. So I've got to treat this Tommy the apostate cat. He's an apostate cat. So I've got to treat that person like they're dead now, like they don't exist. And people get upset about it because they don't like shunning. And they go, oh, Sonia Erickson no longer on Jehovah's Witnesses. <gasps> and, and that's what happens. And then the elder will say, now we're going to close in song and prayer. Isn't that shocking? Isn't that shocking? How shocking is that? So if you're new to the channel and you're wondering, what's this? Sonia Erickson is been removed as Jehovah's Witnesses. That's what my video was about. It was only 16 seconds. Now, this is my beautiful wife, Nicole. That's my beautiful wife, Nicole, and me. In 1998, we got married. That's us there in 1998. Now, Jeho uh, Nicole, Jehovah. Jehovah is still one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah is still one of Jehovah's Witnesses. My beautiful wife, Nicole, is still one of Jehovah's Witnesses. That's us in 1998. Nicole was 25 and I was 36. So Nicole is still one of Jehovah's Witnesses and Jehovah is still one of Jehovah's Witnesses too. That's Nicole in about 2003. I'm 11 years older than Nicole and when we got married, I wanted to dye my grey hair because when I was 36, I had grey hair, I had grey hair, and um, I said, I'll dye my hair brown, you know. And Nicole said, don't you dare, I'll divorce you if you dye your hair. Nicole just loves me the way I am. 
Now, not only Jeho uh, ne Jehovah loves me just the way I am, Nicole, Nicole loves me even though I am an agnostic atheist. I am an agnostic atheist. And Nicole still loves me because I am an agnostic atheist just because I'm no, I no longer believe in the Bible and I have a Bible channel that debunks the Bible. A lot of my videos about debunking why I know the Bible is not true. I have no doubts in my mind that the Bible is not true. It is a man-made book product of primitive Palestinian um, Bronze Age goat herders who didn't understand anything. They thought earthquake was caused by God's anger. Funny enough, um, even in the year 1755, they called 1755 the Age of Enlightenment. Because in 1755 in Portugal, there was a massive big earthquake. Now before 1755, they thought all earthquakes were caused by God. But on a Sunday morning in Portugal, in a in Sunday morning in Portugal, there was a massive big earthquake, and uh, all the people that were in church on that Sunday morning in Portugal because in 1755 people were very religious. Everyone basically who went to church was crushed to death because uh, churches are brick buildings, stone buildings, a lot of wood, and they're tall, so they collapsed on the people who went to church and they got burned to death because there's a lot of wood in churches and usually when there's earthquakes, there's fire. So nearly everyone who went to church that Sunday in the year 1755 died. Now, now, um, now, all the people who didn't go to church that morning, there was atheists back in 1755 and skeptics and agnostics and everything. They survived. They survived. And uh, there was a big tsunami. A lot of people drowned because of the tsunami. And they got to thinking, well, how come? All these church-going people were pleasing God by going to church. Why did they get crushed to death and burned to death in a fire? So they started to wonder about there's about earthquakes, and they discovered that earth, it's the earthquake. Uh, it's caused by the friction of plates, tectonic plates, and that was called the Age of Enlightenment. When they figured out the earthquakes were caused not by God but by Friction. Hello, Nikki. Yeah, Baba. Are you hungry, Bobby? Do you want Nikki? Are you hungry, honey? Sweetie. I can't have Nicole in my videos. I'd like to show you my wife. But uh, if elders, I know elders watch my videos, and if el if elders was to see my wife in my video, she would be automatically removed as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and she would be shunned. She would be shunned, so she can't appear in my videos. Yeah, Nikki. Yeah, Baba. Oh, would you like a sandwich? I'll make you a sandwich. I'll make you a sandwich. What, what, what do you want on your sandwich? What do you want on your sandwich, Bubba? Bubby? Sweetie? What would you like on your sandwich, Bubba? Tomato and cheese? Uh-huh. Tomato and cheese coming up, Bubby. Yeah, so if Nicole, she's upstairs, if Nicole was to appear, appear in my videos, she would be disfellowshipped. Because they'd think that she's like the cat, the apostate cat, because my cat is an apostate cat, Tommy the apostate cat. 
Tommy the Apostle Cat. Tom, 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 Tommy, hip hop. Tommy, Tom, Tom, Tom. Tommy the Apostle Cat. Tommy. He is an Apostle Cat. Yeah, see, no, I can't show you my wife, Nicole, because if the elders saw, they would talk to her. And, um, well, Nicole said I she doesn't want me to talk about it in the videos, but you know, I'm married to a Jehovah's Witness. I got baptised in 1996, age 35, and Nikki got baptised in 992, age 20. But we're still happily married. We love each other. Have a great marriage. And the secret to having a good marriage is just to love each other and be a good person. I don't drink alcohol. I don't take drugs. Um, I don't swear. Notice I don't swear in my videos. I don't swear. Uh, I work hard. I care for her. I make her sandwiches. I make her coffee, tea. I'm a good, you know, I'm just a atheist living a good, I'm just an atheist living a good Christian life. And some, I don't care if people are Christians. I don't care if people are Christians and go to church. I'm happy for them because uh, a lot of religious people are happier because re religious people are happier because they've got a hope which is a beautiful thing, and they have a community. And I was a lot happier when I believed in Santa Claus. I was a lot happier when I believed in Santa Claus because religion is the opium of the people. 